Huskies split with number two ranked North Dakota before they continue their long road game stretch. Well, and welcome to another weekend of the St. Cloud State Husky Hockey Weekend Preview. I'm your host, Taylor Budge. Now, it was an action-packed weekend here on Friday and Saturday at the Brook Center as St. Cloud State welcomed North Dakota. On Friday night, North Dakota came out strong in their first five minutes of play, but the Huskies responded in the second with Ethan Crow getting the power play goal. Drake Kujula would net his NCHC best 17th point with his goal in the second, but it was all Johnny Brodzinski from there as he scores number 49 and number 50 of his career. Huskies take game one, three to one. Saturday night appeared to start the same way, this time with UND getting two points on the board in the first five minutes. Patrick Russell kept the Huskies in the game though. First shot on goal goes in. Huskies trailing 2 to 1. UND adds their lead to the, in the third. Even with Joey Bennett's amazing top shelf goal, Huskies would split the series with a 3 to 2 loss on Saturday. Little changes were seen in the USCHO.com poll for this week as both St. Cloud State and North Dakota remained steady in the standings. Taking a look at other NCHC teams, Miami and Minnesota Duluth continue to climb up the top 10 as the Red Hawks are ranked 5th nationally and the Bulldogs sit in 8th after snapping their 5 game win streak this weekend. Denver and Nebraska Omaha sit together at 10 and 11 while Boston University takes the number 1 spot this week after Michigan Tech suffered its first two losses this season. The Huskies won't be back at the Brook Center until January 2nd, but this weekend they'll take on former WCHA conference opponent as they head up to Bemidji State. Huskies have yet to pick up a sweep this season, but with Brodzinski scoring this past weekend for the first time in two weekend series, as well as having the fifth best power play in the nation, this could potentially lead the Huskies to their first sweep. Another note, Brodzinski is tied for third in the country with four power play goals so far this year. Joey Benick is also on a hot streak as Eggs Benny has nine points in the last eight games and is tied with Brodzinski with the team best 11 points. The Bemidji State Beavers also have several offensive contributors on their roster this season. Sophomore Brendan Harms leads the team this season with 10 points, which includes an even split of goals and assists, while junior Corey Ward is leading the team with 35 shots on goal. The Beavers are currently on a six-game losing streak, but don't let that record say everything about what this team has to offer. They defeated UND in Grand Forks 5-1 in their first game of the season. Sophomore Charlie Lindgren had an incredible weekend in net against North Dakota, stopping 62 total shots, including an impressive 3-on-0. Lindgren boosted his save percentage to .915 after this weekend and holds a 2.41 goals against average to go along with his 5-6-1 record. For the Beavers, both Michael Blitzer and Andrew Walsh have exactly the same minutes in net as well as six games played, so expect to see both in action this weekend. The St. Cloud State women's hockey team will also be in action on Friday and Saturday as they head up to Grand Forks to take on the University of North Dakota. Now the men's team, they'll be a few hours south at Bemidji State taking on the Beavers. Friday night's puck drop is set for 737, while Saturday's is at 707. Now the Huskies, they won't be back at the Brook Center until next year when they take on the Quinnipiac Bobcats on January 2nd and 3rd. Now if you can remember, the last time that these two teams faced off was in the 2013 Frozen Four, so expect a great series between these two teams. Now tickets are still available for this game, along with many other holiday season offers. You can purchase those 24 hours a day by visiting SESUtickets.com. That wraps up this week's edition of the St. Cloud State Husky Hockey Weekend Preview. I'm Taylor Butch and hope you have a great Thanksgiving weekend.